Good morning, everyone. So today's lesson is going to have the theme of shopping. And a lot of us love shopping and some of us hate shopping. So before we even begin, you're going to have to organize yourself into small groups. If you are in the classroom, your teacher will organize you into groups of two or three. If you are on a Zoom lesson, your teacher will put you into breakaway groups. And if you are at home, you're going to find someone to work with, either mom, dad, a younger sister, or maybe gran or an uncle or somebody that's at home. If you don't have anyone at home, I'm sure you're going to manage these activities on your own anyway. So, without any further ado, let's go shopping. So the first activity that you are going to be doing is making a shopping list together with your group. Each of you will have a turn to add one item at a time to the list and you will keep adding items until your teacher stops the activity. So what you're going to do, you are going to be creating a shopping list with items that begin with A. Items that begin with A. Let's go! The next activity you're going to do is a memory game. You're going to be recalling that entire shopping list that we did. So we're going to try and repeat exactly what you said before. So let's see how your memories are. Right, one, two, three, let's go. Now we're going to choose one person from the group to see if they can do the entire list completely on their own. Right, so choose your person and let's see if they manage to remember all the things on that original list. The next activity is also a group activity that you are going to work on together. You are going to be going to the shop to buy a whole lot of items for your mom. She is telling you what you need to make and then you are going to collate and make up a shopping list of all the things you think you are going to need to buy to make those things. So the first thing you have to make is a chocolate cake. The second thing you need to make is a big pot of soup. And the third thing that you need to make is macaroni cheese. So together, you are going to try and decide on all the things that you need to have on your shopping list. Now you're going to choose another person to see if they can remember all those items that were needed on the shopping list. The next activity is an individual activity. You are going to be doing a mime and you're going to be miming the following. You are going to the ice cream shop and you are going to look at that wonderful display of all those wonderful flavours of ice cream. You're going to choose the three different scoops of ice cream flavours that you want and you are then going to ask for them. You are going to pay for your ice cream and you are going to take your ice cream from the assistant who is serving you. So you're going to mime that very carefully. Do remember that you will need to get your purse out. You will need to open your purse. You will need to receive change, put change away, and then take the ice cream. And only then can you begin eating your ice cream. Enjoy doing your mime. Now you are each going to take a turn to be a promotional staff member at a shop. Now you are going to be promoting a new item that is available to customers. So it could be a new chocolate, it could be a new type of milkshake, it could be a particular kind of soap that is on promotion. And you are going to try and promote your item to the other people in the group. The other people in the group can ask you questions about your product and let's see if your customers are actually keen on taking one of your items or if they would rather not. So you've got to be quite persuasive in the way you speak to them 
but remembering to be polite, kind, and really listening to what the customer needs. So enjoy promoting your goods to each other. You are now going to be opening a new store. It could be a new toy store. It could be a new candy store. It could be a new clothing store. Something that really appeals to you. Now, you are going to be making up an advert to advertise your new store and the new in-store house specials for the opening promotion. Once you've got your advert in your head, you're going to take it in turns to perform them to each other. Right, enjoy doing your adverts. Now we're going to be dealing with a complaints department. So a complaints department is where people will take products back to the store that they are not happy with. So one of you is going to be the customer and you are going to be taking your product that you are not happy with, perhaps it is broken, perhaps the product is stale or has gone off, perhaps it doesn't fit and you need to take it back. So you're going to be taking your product to the complaints department. One person is going to be the receiver of your complaint and they are going to listen to what your complaint is. They're not going to be able to help you or they're not going to really want to help you. When you are very frustrated, you're going to start very politely and then as you get more frustrated, get a little bit ruder to the person that is serving you at the counter and you are going to demand to see the manager. That's where another person in the group will become the manager. If you've only got two people in the group, you are then going to play two parts, the service person and the manager. You are then going to be putting your complaint across to the manager and the manager will deal with the complaint as he or she wishes to do so. And let's see what happens with that complaint. Enjoy going to the complaints. You've now got a hundred rand that you are able to spend on a present for mom for her birthday. You're going to be going into a store and speaking to the assistant. The assistant is going to be giving you all sorts of suggestions as to what you could buy and you are finally going to come up with something that you are happy with. You're not going to be happy with the very first suggestion that the assistant comes up with. So you're going to first have a turn and then you will give other people in your group a turn to be the shopper buying for their mom. Okay, so enjoy. Your your shopping department. This activity is an individual activity and we're going to be ending our lesson here. You are going to be opening a new store. This store only sells bubblegum. You've got to think of a good name for your store and you are now on a piece of paper going to be designing the signage for your store. It needs to be attractive, it needs to appeal to kids and to adults alike. So remember choose a colour scheme, don't just have loads and loads of colours, choose a colour scheme for yourself, have a bold design and come up with a sign for your bubblegum store. Enjoy, see you next time.